Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the edate function on Excel. This function allows you to generate the completion date of a specific task using its start date and the length. So for example, over here, I have a, the start date for various projects. And I know the length of each project in months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the edate function to tell me how long each project will take based on the length. And it will basically return to me the completion date. So over here in cell D2, I'm going to write equals to edate. And the start date is going to be the start date of my project. And the time in months, as you can see that one of the conditions is months. So in this case, this project is going to take four months to complete. So I'll select four and I'll close bracket and press enter. And just like that for each project, now I know based on its start date and its length, what its expected completion date is. So I no longer have to calculate that by mind. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next